Hey guys, it's Becca from Weatherwood Stains and from, from Gardeners to Burgers blog. And um, I'll, we get asked all the time about top coats for our product. And so what I've got here is two American Oak samples and they've been stained with our Reclamation product. They're dry and ready for top coat. And what I've got is um, some furniture wax. Now furniture wax in general is a great top coat for our products, it helps to keep the color uh, very closely to what the Weatherwood colors are. Um, a variety will, of waxes are great. Uh, you can use Miss Mustard Seeds, you can use Annie Sloan, you can use Johnson & Johnson. I happened to pick this up just to test it. I wanted to see what Valspar was putting out there. Um, it's actually a really kind of a runnier version of wax. Um, I've found that the harder the wax, uh, the better end result for our color. Um, but I'll show you how this one looks and you can decide for yourself. So I just have a chip brush here. I like to keep my nice wax brushes from my other brands. So, um, Anyways, it looks like this, and you just want to apply it in the direction of the grain. You can see, if you're familiar with some of the other wax products on the market, you could already see what a big difference this is. This is more like a dried out polyurethane or something. Um, but the protection seems to be really good. Um, so that's what matters. Okay, and so all you want to do is apply it. You can wait one to two minutes after it's on the wood. You come back, you wipe off any excess, and then let it dry for an hour. I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. We just applied Weather uh, Valspar's Furniture Wax to this American Oak sample. And now uh, we're back to just wipe off any excess. So you wanna get just a clean rag and um, rub in the direction of the grain. I feel like Valspar's wax is kind of stickier than other brands. Um, I don't know if I'm alone in that, but that's what I found. There you go. So once all that excess has been wiped off, um, normally the wood would be pretty dry at this point, but Valspar's wax, again, is just a little bit wetter. So this is gonna dry just a little bit more from what you're seeing. You can see the moisture still. It's pretty moist in there, that area. Um, but it'll continue to dry and in about an hour, it'll be good to go. If you want it to be a shinier finish, you can top coat it then.